All right, welcome to my Lethal Company skin gameplay and review. So as you can see, the company bundle is currently in the item shop. It is leaving June 7th. As of this review, it's June 1st, so you've got a few days left to purchase it. So if you've never heard of Lethal Company before, unfortunately, it's only on Steam right now. I really wanted this to come to consoles, in particular PlayStation 5. But right now, as far as I know, it's only on PC. With that said, it's an amazing game. It's actually got a 10 out of 10 review, which is insane. It's pretty much a cooperative survival horror game, and it's really, really fun. It's fun to watch, too. I've watched tons of videos of people playing, and it can be extremely hilarious. Now, how does it translate into a Fortnite skin? Well, that's what we're going to find out. So the bundle itself comes with the skin called the Employee, then the back bling called the Oxygen Tank, the emote called the Company Jig, which is copyrighted, so I can't play it that long, and then the Stop Sign Pickaxe, which is a full-fledged stop sign. So the bundle is a little pricey, 2,100 V-Bucks, but you do get an emote, so that's pretty sweet. So in the Lethal Company game itself, you work as contracted employees of the company, and that's why this guy's called the employee. And you can talk with other people through proximity chat, which is what makes it awesome. So I personally have never played the game. I've only watched others play it because I'm not really a PC player. I typically only play console games. Now the skin does not have any styles and it doesn't appear to have any reactivity either and the back bling likewise is the same. It looks like the same thing applies for the pickaxe as well. Now the emote, I'm gonna play it for you one more time real quick just because it is copyrighted. Here we go. It's got a pretty cool animation. Simple dance, but awesome music. Okay, we gotta back out again, copyrighted, which kind of stinks. Okay, so I've got my son Jack here. He actually doesn't own the skin, so I'm gonna gift it to him. We'll do a little bit of a dual review. I'm hoping there's some kind of secret to it, maybe some kind of reactivity or something, because in terms of the skin itself, it's, it is kind of plain. I mean, it's a nice orange color with the mask on, the oxygen tank. It's very bright, and I also can't tell if it's cell shaded or not. It kind of looks like it is, but I'm having a hard time judging in the locker here. So let me go ahead and give this to my son. He already bought the emote, so it reduces the price to $1,700. All right, there we go. So I forgot to give individual prices. If you just want the skin, it's 1500. If you just want the pickaxe, it's 800. And then the emote is 400. All right, so let's go and take a look in game. All right, so here is Jack. Holy smokes, Jack, look how big the pickaxe is. <laughs> that is huge. Okay, so as you can see, and as Jack is demonstrating, the pickaxe is ginormous, but it's a full fledged stop sign. And that really is a weapon in the game, right? Yep. And you can beat up monsters with it. Mm -hmm. So the contrail is definitely there. Swing it a bit. Let's see. I mean, it's got that red after image. That's not too bad. But it's just a bit bulky. I feel like this could block a lot of... I mean, look at that. It blocks his whole character when I'm standing right here. Let's see. There's no real special splash there. Let's just try it against a... No, nope. default. Take a look in the dark. So nothing glows or is animated on the skin. So this is kind of what I was worried about in terms of the skin itself. It's very plain and very low key. So obviously you probably need to be a pretty big fan of the game in order to get really excited about this skin. But again, if you like orange like me, it's pretty solid all around. The back bling is a bit bulky as well. So I might have to take that off and see what it looks like. So, Jack, would you say this is a cell shaded skin? You know, like the anime skins? I can't tell if it is or not. Doesn't it look like it is? I'll tell you how. So, Jack says it is. I don't know. It looks like it, but normally in the dark, the cell shaded skins kind of glow a weird color, and it's not doing that. But well, so... it kind of is, but... Is it? No, it's not. Is it? Like, look at... Look at... Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Look at me. Like, you see, like, the black outline? Like... Uh... Well, let me know in the comments. Do you guys think this is a cell shaded skin? The helmet is what's tricking me. Hold still a minute. It kind of looks like it's drawn. But then the suit... I don't know. I can't tell. Most skins I can tell right away, but this one's kind of iffy. Sometimes it looks like it is, sometimes it's not. So, what does this dance have to do with the game, Jack? Do you know? It's like uh, an emote that you can do in the game. You can actually emote in the game? Yeah. <laughs> so, in terms of the dance, it's not... I mean... That's not much of a dance. This is the best part. Okay, well, anyway, I mean, that's a dance even I could do. Look, pat a cake. <laughs> so it's not that exciting, I'm saying. But the music is awesome. I just wish I could hear it. 
So let me take the back bling off. We'll see what he looks like without it. Okay, so here he is without the back bling, and that's not bad either. Okay, so overall, there's quite a few things that are bulky on the skin. Let's see how aim down sights is. That's not bad, even with the helmet. But it does kind of glitch into your weapon a little bit, at least with some of them. Okay, so not as bulky in the aim down sights as I expected. Let me get an elimination here. I doubt there's any reactivity, but we're going to find out. I'll do the pickaxe elim as well. Here we go. Nope, I didn't see anything happen. So in terms of the skin and accessories itself, pretty plain all around. But that's usually how these collab skins are. They kind of replicate them exactly how they look in the actual game they're from which doesn't always translate that well to Fortnite, but it's not too bad. If you don't like orange, you're probably gonna hate this skin, but if you've played the game Lethal Company, you're probably gonna wanna buy this. Jack, what would you rate this skin out of 10? Uh, like nine. Nine out of 10, okay. Well, that's a bit high on my scale. So me and Jack are gonna hop in game and see if he looks any different there, and then we'll wrap up the review. Maybe we'll get a win too in the process, we'll see. Okay, so here we are in a real match. It's the full nighttime effect, and I swapped to my Brella, which, again, as you can see, is a different color orange. It's still not too bad. Just matching precisely is a little difficult. But the skin does look pretty low-key and clean, especially here in the full nighttime, like I said. And again, it kind of reminds me of a cel-shaded skin, so let me know in the comments if you think it really is cel-shaded or if I'm seeing things. Try it. Are you, I'm, I'm not near you. I'm in this other car. Get, get in the car. Get in the car. They're out of the car. I cracked one. Laser one. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh. Here comes car, car. Car. Kids. Oh, I cracked him. I'm, I'm gonna aim into them. Okay. Oh, yeah. He tried to boogie me. He missed. You missed again? You got me that time? He boogie again? Thirty? Man, he lasered me. I'm coming. Is he on your bus? You got him? Nice. Oh, okay. Car coming, car coming. Right below us, I think. Okay, I don't see him. Okay, he must just be... Oh, yeah, he's in that... I see it. It's that yellow car. Let's go get him. Oh, they're shooting at me. Well, it looks like my son's game crashed. I guess we're not winning this. Darn it. So overall, though, the skin is pretty solid. Having never played the game and only watched people play, I think it's a pretty decent skin all around. Especially in a real live match here. The colors look a little more crisp. And there he goes. Jackie, what happened? What is with your PlayStation 5? Like, what did it do? It just shut off again? Gosh, that is so frustrating. So there you go. That is the Lethal Company and Fortnite collaboration. Like I said, the skin itself is a little generic, but if you love the game, you're going to love the skin. And I've already seen people say this is one of the best collabs we've ever had. That's how much people love Lethal Company. I've already seen clips of people making memes and all sorts of awesome stuff. So I love it when collabs happen like this and the entire community really enjoys it. But like I said, if you've never played the game and you see this skin, you'd probably be like, eh, it's just okay. But for me, it's orange, which is one of my favorites. I have seen some videos on Lethal Company. It's really funny. It looks kind of scary at some points, too. So a really good collab. I was not expecting this. Pretty sweet. The price, a little bit expensive at $2,100, like I said. But I think there's something for everyone here. And the emote's awesome. I just wish it wasn't copyrighted. So I'm already seeing a lot of people run this skin in-game, which means it's pretty good. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is tape time. Which is tape time.